In high school, I didn't always see the bigger picture. I don't know if it was because I was a male in the 90s. I don't know if it was because I was from the neighborhood I was raised in. I don't know why that is, but I did not have a sense of the bigger picture. I did not have the best, um, you know, I had a very murky vision of my future. I didn't know what I wanted to be. Up until I was a senior in high school, I was still convinced I was going to play baseball in college um, or play baseball professionally. I was dumb with a capital D in that regard, and I never really had a long range plan about what I wanted to do. Um, I should also say that I've always been a writer and I've always been a reader as well. I didn't necessarily read all the things that my high school teachers assigned to me, but I always really loved reading. So when it came time for me to declare my major, I spoke to my wife, who was then my girlfriend, and we kind of talked it out and we decided that teaching was probably a more immediate route to salary. I wanted to become a teacher because it seemed like an interesting thing to do. I was interested in two things. I was interested in film studies, I was interested in making films, and then I was also interested in uh, the teaching of English. And I'm a musician, right, and playing off that idea, look to hear nothing but discords. Does anybody I got kicked out of the University of Buffalo, and it made me ask myself some very difficult questions. I said, you know, what do I do? Where do I go now? And so I went to ECC, and I went to ECC as a general studies major, and I started taking classes, and I found a totally different type of scenario. I found a smaller class sizes. I found places where I could fit in. I found classrooms where discussions were happening, and I found great teachers. Why the devil came you between us? I was hurt under your arm. So one day at the end of my first year of teaching, I encountered Keith, the history teacher who I taught with in the hallway. He said, Joel, how would you like to earn 800 bucks, get a free video camera and a free Mac computer, and learn how to teach students how to make digital videos this summer? That summer I was able to work at WNED, I was able to be in a workshop with a bunch of other teachers and learn how to make digital videos and then how to teach kids how to do the same. Right. You were saying with the time? Life is good. Uh, right now I teach English at a great high school. I have wonderful students um, who I see try hard every single day, who I think are doing really interesting things and I think are having really interesting conversations. So from a professional standpoint, I couldn't ask for more. You can shut it all the way, I don't think it's going to rat-a-tat-tat. -tat.